Hi guys, today I wanted to give you guys a new Tone Hollow 9 slash Tone Hollow 10 base design. This base is actually anti hog base, and as you guys can see, I just got Tone Hollow 10 like two hours ago. And yeah, I, I made up this base because I'm still getting attacked with hog hearts, as you can see my defense log. And yeah, I just wanted to be protected for this. And yeah, I'm I'm gonna do a base board now, okay. Okay guys, and this is the base, um, and now I wanted to go over some things that um, that you can change to make it more appropriate for Tunnel 10. So you see those two expos, at Tunnel 10 you get a third expo, so you want to take out this archer tower and put in your third expo, and you can like swap them around just to make sure, just make sure that three expos are in the center of the base, and then for the inferno tower just Take us to those two archer towers and put the infernos in, and then you can swap like those archer towers like right here. It doesn't really matter where. So this space is actually great for um, hawk rise, as you guys can see, because they will run around the base like right here, and they won't go for the center because of those things. They are not attracted to those buildings, and yeah, this is why the space is so great. And yeah, um, I hope you guys like the space, and I wanted to show off my last defense. It's right here, like my other base. I, I will put the links in the description to this base. So, he, um, as you guys can see, he put, put on some giants to attract my king and queen. This is why it's so important to put the king and queen inside the base and the kind castle because it's hard for them to get them. And then he's handed all his hog riders. And as you can see, the clan castle comes out and is activated and attacks all those buildings. Then I'm just going to fast forward, and my king and queen are not attracted to the, um, are actually attracted to the hawk riders and takes them out. And as you guys can see, those hawk riders go down pretty fast. And yeah. And he has some truce, but as you can see, my, my both of my heroes and my clan castle take, get rid of all of those uh, troops he sends in. And they're like, they almost take no resources whatsoever. So you guys can see and this is my exposed call the rest of the troops it's actually pretty nice uh, yeah let's go back to the base and and I actually wanted to show you guys the attack from my first attack or my second attack since I'm tunnel 10 so I used my level 4 hawk riders I just got today and yeah so I sent in a few of my hawks to get um, those clan castle troops and the archer queen's attention and then just um, kill those, blurt them out, kill those and I knew that um, my hawk riders are way stronger so I didn't even have to use that many uh, healing spells, actually just one because I don't want, I didn't want to waste um, no actually I did use all of my healing spells, I don't know why could have just used like one or two of them, but whatever. I I did get all of his resources and three star gem. Then I sent in the rest of my troops and yeah. Pretty nice attack. 
as you can see I got almost resource and the loot as a uh, tunnel ten is actually not even that bad if you see 250 of each resource is pretty nice okay guys if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already okay guys see you in the next video